Hey everyone, it's Tiffany. Today I'm doing a look that is very kind of defined, very natural, very you can wear it anywhere. I like looks like that. I think that they're pretty helpful because you can use, even if you don't like natural colors, you can put any color, you can use any colors you want really. Uh, but I think this is very kind of helpful because it's day to day, wear it anywhere. The key is, is that I only used like literally not many products at all. Uh, very basic things. I'm going to tell you um, the products that you need. Um, I'm not going to tell you, I mean, obviously, exactly. I'll, I tell you everything that I use in the video. Um, you need a black, creamy eye pencil. This is my Stila Eye Cajal. Um, Any kind of very black, creamy eye pencil. Creamy is the key there. A very dark brown eyeshadow. I'll tell you the exact colors I use in the video. A bronzer. Um, I use the MAC, you know, so say that, whatever. And a, I use Painterly Paint Pot, but a cream eyeshadow paint pot, whatever, that matches your skin tone. Um, or, I guess if you're darker and you wanted to do this look, um, you may not want to match your skin tone exactly. You'd probably want to go just a little bit lighter. So painterly, um, sheared out would probably work for you as well. I'm back from Vegas. Eek, not really. Um, I filmed this before I left. So, <laughs> we had such a great time. But, um, anyways... We're going to have a great time. If you can't tell, I have the sinus infection from you know where. It's been a really great few days. But, um, no, I'm fine. It's just my sinuses. And then on top of that, it feels like horrible allergy. I mean, I just, I'm having, I'm having a rough time. Um, but I feel like I might be getting a little better, so that's good. Uh, so I hope that y'all enjoy this. And I'll talk to y'all very soon. Alright, first I'm going to start by applying Painterly Paint Pot to my lid. Any color that matches your skin exactly. This might be just a little bit lighter, but it's okay. Alright, then I'm just going to go ahead and apply my crease color. Now, if you don't want the color to grab so much, like if you're... Um, not really great at blending or you haven't really practiced with a lot, just take a brush, a very large brush or whatever, um, dip it in some face powder um, and then dab it on your hand. You don't want much on the brush at all and just lightly dab it. Just something that's translucent, something that you're not going to see. Um, or even like I said, a face powder that matches your skin or an eyeshadow. And that's just going to kind of keep the colors from grabbing so much and make it easier to blend. Alright, then I'm going to take a crease brush that's a little pointed, a little tapered at the end. This is a MAC 217. Perfect for that. I'm taking the MAC eyeshadow in Mystery. And it's kind of like a cooler brown, more of a gray brown when I say cool. Um, I'm just dipping the very tip of the brush in that. Then I'm going to start um, right in my crease. You see where your crease is right there. Or where my crease is. And touch it right there. And then kind of fill it in. I want the most color to be on this outer edge. And then kind of move it inward. And then you can kind of sweep it back and forth and move in small circular motions. You don't want to blend the color too far up or too far into the lid. Um, we'll blend in a minute, but we're just trying to get the color um, placed where we want it. Alright, then take the same brush and the same color that we just used. And like I said, any dark brown will work. And I'm just going to kind of take uh, right where the color meets um, the outer edge of your eye. Kind of just swoop it down. Um, so that it kind of creates kind of a little curve at the edge. You can even take a little more. That makes it easier. Right on the tip of the brush, kind of hold it at an angle like that and just kind of stamp it. I'm just going around the edge of the color. I'm not putting it in the crease and sweeping over it. You want the color to still be pretty intense there. Just kind of going around the edge of color even where it goes down on my eyelid a little bit. Alright, so as promised, we haven't really used a lot of products so far. Um, if you have a lot of browns, you can use whatever colors you want, obviously. Um, you can even take, like what I'm about to do, you can take a lighter brown and use it to blend. But if you don't have a lot of colors, you don't have to feel like you have to buy all these. Um, most people will have a bronzer or some sort of like um, darker face powder or something like that. Use that. Uh, so I'm going to use the So Ceylon. It has just a little bit of sheen to it. 
I'm going to get it on that same blending brush that I just used. Um, this one by Sigma is pretty good. Uh, like I've said several times, you don't have to, you know, you can use it for your crease or you can use it as a blending brush. Um, I prefer it over the MAC 224 for that reason because 224 by MAC is a little too springy and I don't know. doesn't really work in the crease and it's not the best blending brush in my opinion. This one does both. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of that color on the tip of the brush and then right here where, like kind of in the upper crease where that color meets my eyebrow bone or where the color isn't, I'm going to put that right there. And it's just going to kind of help the color blend upward. I'm just going back and forth. And don't be afraid to kind of pull this color up more because it's going to look more natural. Obviously that darker brown you wouldn't have wanted to pull up so far. Now since we put down that painterly before and it was it matched my skin tone, obviously now your eyebrow right here is going to be a little darker. So that already kind of creates a natural highlight. If you want to put more on there, you certainly can. But that's kind of the beauty of this. Like you don't have to. It's just playing with colors right, and stuff I'm like that. I'm going to start on my eyeliner. I'm going to use one pencil for everything. Um, it's good. You don't have to use a brush. You don't have to use a gel. You don't have to use different products. It's just one pencil. And it's the Stila Eye Cajal. It's very creamy. Um, you have to be careful with it though because it's very, very soft. It's not going to sharpen into a point. You're not going to get a very precise line. So what you're going to do is just try to stick as close to the lash line as you can. It transfers super easy. I mean, it's like super creamy. And there you go. Now, this one, like I said, you can't get very precise with. Um, I guess you do need to use a brush with this too. I'm um, just anything that's angled. This is my MAC 266. And I'm just going to kind of take it and smooth the color. You can kind of pull it wherever it wants without, you know, really smudging or it's not like a typical eye pencil. It's very creamy on the skin. And I'm just kind of using it to soften the line and to kind of straighten it out a bit. You can even use it at this outer edge to kind of pull it up and make a little wing if you want. I always like to pull the color up just a little bit in the outer corner. Okay, so the liner is very simple. Now, instead of having, now you don't have to line your waterline if you don't want to. I know a lot of people um, either prefer it or they don't, or I'm kind of in between. I don't really care. Sometimes I think it looks good on me, sometimes I don't. You can take that same exact pencil and use it right along your waterline. Now, you don't want to ever touch your eyeball. You don't want to, like, really get in there and... You know, uh, just very, very lightly and very gently. That's what I love about this. You can see I'm barely touching it and it transfers like crazy. And hopefully you can see up close that I'm not even touching my eyeball with that. So, um, you know, lining your waterline does not mean that you need to just go crazy. Um, but you still get that same effect without irritating your eye. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast. And I'm going to come back and show you what I used on my cheeks and my lips. So it's very kind of like you can tell my eyes are very defined, but I barely used any products really, so I think that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, my camera's kind of sideways. All right, so for my cheeks, you can probably guess. Came on my brush. All right, so for my cheeks, you can probably guess I'm gonna use the same uh, bronzer that I used um, on my eyes. It's the So Ceylon Mineralized Skin Finish by Mac. I'm just using one of these little MAC 131 brushes. Um, I don't think these are available anymore. You don't have to use anything like this. Obviously, you can use whatever kind of brush that you want. And I just kind of applied that uh, pretty much where I would apply a bronzer. Not as heavy, though. Um, I, you know, didn't sweep it all over my face or do anything crazy with it. It, is, it does have kind of a sheen to it, but it is a natural sheen. Um, so I like that. This bronzer never really, I call it a bronzer, um, never starts looking chalky or muddy or dirty. Uh, so that's that. And then um, you don't even have to apply a blush with that, which is kind of cool. If you definitely want to, go for it. Whatever you want to do. Um, you can even take just a little more after you apply it, kind of like a bronzer. Apply it to your cheeks. Whoa, are we seeing this? I totally smudged something crazy right there. 
Oh, I have, no wonder, I have like, oh, I have a big chunk of something on my finger. It was mascara. Okay, luckily it wasn't dry. You guys can't tell I'm like sick, so sorry. I know my eyes are about to water. I can feel it happening. Ah. Okay, sorry. Then for my lips, I use syrup, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of like a berry pink. I don't know. It's kind of a purpley tone to it. Not what you think syrup would be. I guess it depends what kind of syrup. That got weird. Um, anyways, so I love that. You definitely don't have to use a lot of products. You don't have to go crazy. And I mean, you can. I like to use a lot of products. So I don't. I mean, I don't really care. But um, you know, if you're on vacation or you're just trying to, you know, minimize your stuff, or you just don't have a lot to start out with, those are very basic things that you can create this look with. Um, and I think this is kind of appropriate for whenever. And those are the kind of looks that I kind of obviously like to create. So um, I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.